broadcast live. Coming to you live. We're live. From the basement of an abandoned training facility where we talk about fighting, training, and events. It's the Fight Mixer Show on the Three Beards Podcast where you can hear about all the local and world combat sports happenings. Get ready. It's time to gear up and square up, because we're going live. Live. And now. Broadcasting live. We will broadcast live. With Craig, Chris, Austin, and Matt on the Fight Mixer Show. Welcome to the Fight Mixer Show on the Three Beers Podcast. My name is Craig, along with me, Austin, Chris, producer Matt, and making his debut to the Fight Mixer Show is the one and only Gabriel Fryer. What's How going are you, on? sir? I'm good, man. How about y'all? Nice. Can't complain, can't complain. Good. Sounds good. So, yeah, so how awesome is the state of Florida that we are bringing MMA back? Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's oh. great. It's great, man. I can't wait to fight. I should have been fought. Like I, no. oh, <laughs> I can't yeah. wait, man. It keeps so, getting pushed back, but now now the show's at stone, so I can't wait. And that's that's what's fantastic. It's just that you know, for there was a couple of weeks there where it was like it's gonna happen. No, it's not. Mm. It's gonna happen. No, it's not. And then it went silent. And I was in a discussion with somebody on a couple of groups. I'm like, dude, if there's a way. Dana White is going to find a way to get MMA back in the state of Florida. You know, and mm-hmm. sure enough, it was like a week, week and a half later that all of a sudden rumors started coming out. They're like, UFC is back on on the ninth, and then it was like a snowball effect. All of a sudden, everybody combat night. You, you know, you're, yeah, you know, I'm trying. Now, what do you fight out of? Um, the promotion I'm fighting out of. Mm-hmm. It's called um, Combat Quest. Combat Quest. It's That's in Tampa. Right. Yeah. I was I was kept wanting to say combat. I'm like, it's not right. It's not right. And I know it's combat. I was like, yeah, combat. Yeah. Question. You know. So then these things started to happen, and I mean, everybody around it just buzz starts building, and we see everybody. It's like you know, it just starts chatter, starts flying. Everybody's like, we're back on. We're back on. We're back on. And mm-hmm. that's when I was started talking with you, and uh, it came back on. So we're. I know you can't tell who your opponent is. No. Yeah. It's one of those. This was this one that you currently had booked before, and now it's Rion, or is this a new fighter? It's a it's a new fighter, man. It's the third guy from the same camp, and you know what I mean. So I can't wait. I can't wait to <laughs> beat his ass nice. for playing so many fucking games. Nice. You know what I mean? So. Oh, they keep giving you same people from different uh, from the same camp. They keep giving different them people from yeah. It's like it's like you they don't... finally decide they don't want me, and then they're like, "Hey, will you take him?" You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna smash. I can't wait. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, is, is he ready for the Warrior of God? No, is, he, yeah, that's, no. That's is anybody ready? No. <laughs> like, yeah, ready. I, honestly, <laughs> nobody's ready, man. Uh, they they catch me in some slick shit if they do. So, because yeah. I, I reset, I, I like resetting brains, man. I'm definitely a reset his. Oh, you can see it, man. <laughs> All the videos are you just swinging. It's like, oh man, I don't. You want to come close? Mm. You know. Oh, I was man. looking. I was looking at your last champion, your your championship bout, like. Did you feel that, um, you know, you had two low blows? Did you feel you had to pound him out the last round, or you were gonna, you know, in the blow? You felt, huh? <laughs> the blows weren't low, man. <laughs> he, he, he he was a real good actor. I mean, I, yeah, I yeah he was. for sure. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was a he was a uh, actually he he even missed weight, man. He was a heavier guy trying to come down and uh, uh, a welterweight, and he didn't even he didn't even make weight. And uh, yeah, man, it, it was. I definitely wanted to pound him out. You know what I'm saying? I almost got him earlier, but uh, I, if there, I if there, yeah, if there was ten seconds left, I would have smashed him. Man. So that, I mean, did you just feel that if you didn't give him give you know because the last couple seconds you were on him giving him the business? So did you yeah. feel that if it would have been a close, they would have been like, okay, well you kind of shot him low a couple times. It would have been a you know anonymous something. So did man. you feel that you had to give a put on the show? I always got put on a show, man. That's just that's just who I am. I always put on a show. But uh, man, I just he pissed me off, man. He was running the whole time. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was running. 
That's he what I was going to ask you, man. I was going to ask you. to walk his ass down. He, he, like, he, was, <laughs> he was taunting you. Did that piss you off more? He was like, come on. Come on. I'm just watching. Like, that's pissing me off. I'm like, yeah, well, he was taunting because I was I taunted him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he tried to throw a capillary kick, and I looked at him like he was stupid. You know what I'm saying? Didn't even come close. And awesome. He did. He completely missed that kick, and I'm like, oh. No, yeah, okay. I put my hands on my hips and looked down like he was dumb, and then he like looked at me and like gave me a thumbs up, like "Nah, bro, you, you missed." Like, what? What, what? what are you doing? You know was that, that was the crazy part. It wasn't like it was like a close one. You just went. Man, it was. It wasn't even close. <laughs> he probably like... practiced that all the time at the gym, but he never hit nobody with it. You know what I mean? He wanted to look pretty. I don't know. And I, I mean, I don't know. I think he was having um inadvertent shin issues because he was scared of that whooping. I mean, he kept. I mean, a fighter. That's he not wanted the first a way time. out. Yeah. Huh? He wanted a way out, man. He didn't want that's that. Not, that's not the first time you put on shin guards. I mean, they kept coming. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm like, he's avoiding this ass whooping. You were trying to mm-hmm. give him the business. Yeah, man. He didn't. There was always something up. Like, every time I was gonna turn up or something happened, something was going on, man. <laughs> I kicked him on the inside of his thigh. I, he, Maybe it hurt him too bad, you know what I'm saying? But know. you got it anyway, so, I mean, that's all that matters. Um, You know, did you ever think about giving him a rematch before you went pro? He asked for one, but to be honest, there was no re- – I didn't see no reason for one because it wasn't even a close fight, and he was just going to run for me again if I fought him again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't even close. No, it wasn't. The only thing that made it close was the low blows. If they're in, and, and you know how judges are, they're always unpredictable. So, I mean, that's, they could have – I mean, that's why I asked you that. I mean, you, you kind of said it on the back end that – the low blows technically kind of made it close. So that's yeah. why I feel – that's why I asked you, did you feel like the last couple of seconds, I know I got to pound him out because I'm not going to knock him out because he keeps yeah. running. Yeah, I just want to beat his ass, man. And that was <laughs> that was my chance. And I wasn't going to put him in a rear naked choke, but he, he turned around so that I, I got full guard – or uh, full mount. And, yeah, just went to town. I, actually, I only got to throw three strikes too, man. So I wanted to do more, but, yeah. That was a now, pretty good fight. Tra- I mean, I enjoyed that one. Pretty Thank well. you. Thank you. Now, where are you training at, right? Is it still Ohio? Are you still up there right now? Or are you down? Because um, I know you're trying to get down here, obviously, for that fight. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm going to get down there for sure. Um, yeah, I live in Huntington, West Virginia, actually. And uh, uh, Yeah. And um, there's a boxing gym over here. Uh, it's called TKO Boxing Club. It's uh, The head coach is Terrence Kelly. He's a guru, man. He knows so much and uh, about everything. And uh, my um, – well, I'm, I'm with the team now. I did everything before on my own, man. Like, uh, I just got a manager uh, in Big Joe Mac or Psycho Joe. I just got him after my, my pro debut, my last fight. I nice. drug him – I use Facebook, man, because – and I get friends or become friends with important people. And uh, so when they wake up in the morning, like, who the fuck is this guy talking shit? You know what I'm saying? So and it makes them want to know who I am. And then I, I, pull, I pulled in Joe, and then he came to my fight. And – uh I mean, I showed. I mean, I showed out. He caught me in something slick, you know. I'm at the end. Oh well, but uh, man, like I like I said, I've done this on my own, and uh, but now I got a team uh, for sure. A team. Um, actually, Shannon Rich is my jujitsu coach. Um, Shannon Cannon Rich, and uh, I have an, I have another boxing coach as well, he, um, named Chris Chella. So uh, yeah, man, I'm just I'm just ready. I'm we gotta, we gotta, your, gotta, your little guy. Just, I've been loving with both of those pictures of you walking around with your guy, you know, your little man there. In the truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah man. Yep. Yeah. yeah that's, so how's that little guy, you know, giving you for inspiration? He, man, He's everything to me. Uh, mm-hmm. He's everything to me, man. I want to give him the life that, you know, I never had. And, uh, and not that I had a bad life. It's just I want to give him a lot more. You know, I, mean, I want to teach him how to how to get through life, how to take the troubles and, and just – not worry about it. Just keep moving. Keep trucking. We got a number one fan asking a question. Um, do you mind if I share a little bit of back, our backstage conversation before I add, you know, um, okay, he, he's prior Army, and she wants to know what got you into MMA after your Army career. Are you have always been a fighter? So I just added the backstage conversation in a little bit to, you know, what, what, what got you into MMA? To be honest, um, Connor pisses me off, man. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> he's on top of the world, and he has a left hand. That's it. He has a fake brown belt by Kavanaugh. Like, uh, he so he, he does jits with all these Irish guys. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't do it in the states or in Brazil. His I'm his brown. Like 
his his I, I mean, I like him too. Honestly, he's a sniper, and he'll knock Tony oh, yeah. out. Like he'll he'll. I mean, I believe he'll get he'll knock Tony and Justin out. His his um his biggest downfall is his grappling. His grappling's not very good, but he's big and he actually is pretty strong. But uh, him, man, I was like, man, I can I can beat that guy. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, just after the military, I didn't have anything. I didn't have anything, but I always I've been fighting for. I mean, I've been training martial arts for 23 years since I was four. I'm 27 now. Okay. Uh, I know seven disciplines. I'm belted in four. Um, wow. Well, I mean, yeah. So it's just, it's just like, man, I'm just gonna fight, man. I'm just gonna show, you know, show what I could do. And then uh, when I figured that out, that I was gonna fight, um, I did a boxing tournament at uh, 185 pounds. Uh, and I mean, I'm a featherweight. I'm 45. That's my natural weight. And I got, I, I took us. Uh, semifinals i got the semifinals i should have it was a close fight i mean i, I stiffed him um he didn't drop or anything but he beat me uh but yeah man, after that and then i did a judo tournament i won the judo tournament at 173 pounds um it was an open tournament too it wasn't just it was any belt and i uh, won that and then i then i took my my debut fight and uh in stockton california like i've been flying out fighting teams man i'm just by myself i'm like i know how to fight and i, I mean i'll fight anybody and promoters take advantage of that you know what i'm saying so, so i went out I, I went up and smashed my we heard, guy. we heard <laughs> from another fighter one of our dear friends that once you get a manager you don't take you don't take all the fights that you would normally take on your own your manager like no not just sit back but if somebody calls you're going the way you said before you got a manager yeah oh yeah for sure man and it wasn't just it wasn't just how they called i reached out i was like hey let me fight i'll fight him i'll fight him that guy's not that good you know what i'm saying i um but yeah well the manager he just makes you smarter he makes you pick smart you know what i'm saying uh yep. he may he, you you take smarter fights you don't just fight anybody because most time most of the time especially when you're by yourself you're just being set up anyways he stops you from being set up because every promoter will set you up and that's just how it is and uh, when you got somebody with you, they're like, uh, they just get you, they just get you the right fight, and not somebody who's supposed to, who's supposed to like blow you to the water. I mean, everybody I fought was supposed to beat me. You know what I mean? So yeah. now, they, they now get the, what's Yeah, going? no, sorry. I was gonna say when you're training too on that stuff because you said you're belted in judo. You know, being kind of a novice, you know, is there very many people that do that? Because I can see the definite benefits of some of those judo throws. You know, when a guy comes to grab you, you can talk, give him a toss, and then you're right on him. To be honest, man, I'd I mean, I know Greco too. I would rather, um, I'd rather somebody that would uh, to know Greco because judo is like Greco. I'm in wrestling with, uh, with, with a gi on. Um, it's all right. You just have to know how to do it. It's how you put your hips into people, and it's how you. Mm -hmm. um, that's how you uh, manipulate their body. I mean, it's okay. It, it's it's good. I mean, Ronda could use it, and she flew straight to the arm bar every time. But I mean, yeah. she knew how to toss people in. Because in yeah. that championship, in that championship bout, I see you gave everything to take him to the ground. You tried to go to the ground with him, and that's not what he wanted. He he didn't want that ground. You tried. No. You dove head first to give him the ground. Like I'm gonna give you the ground. What's up? Yeah, I'm that was a uh, that's called a low single wrestling move. I actually used it in uh, two fights. Um, yeah. He didn't want. He didn't want anything, man. He didn't, and he ran from me. He just wanted to outpoint me. I hate fighters that outpoint me, man. So you My, prefer you prefer to wrestle, uh, you know, grapple than to fight standing up. No, no, no. I prefer okay. to knock somebody out. But, <laughs> um, but if the fight's not always going to go your way, and I'm well rounded, so if if um they're going to run from me, I'll I'll just take you down and beat you. I'll beat you up anyway. But nothing's better than a knockout. I mean, honestly, nothing's better than putting somebody's lights out. Let's go but, ahead and get it done. How many yeah. fights have you had? How many fights have you had in Florida? We've got somebody who wants to know how many fights have you fought in Florida? Two. Two in Six Florida. Three. Other than other than that, I've been um in Kentucky, Ohio, uh, California, Florida. Trying to remember just that. Yeah, I've been, I've been everywhere, everywhere fighting. Really, whoever, whoever called, that's why I showed up and fought. You know, what I'm saying I'm not scared of nobody. Oh, and, the, and then I fought at 55 and 72 my whole career. This is the first time my next fight I'm actually going to my natural weight at 45. So. Okay, so you were. I mean, do you find it? Did you find it harder having to put on the extra weight? I mean, did you? No, I just did. No, I just didn't even cut weight, man. I didn't cut weight when I fought seventy. I weighed. I weighed in at uh, sixty-five. Um, then I had to actually had a sixty-five fight as well. That was my favorite fight against Will Strickland. 
Um, I knocked him out uh, cold, but he actually fought me. You know what I'm saying? And you can see my power in that fight. I actually uh, hit him with the Chuck Liddell off the back foot and put him his lights out. And uh, Gary Copeland uh, was the ref. So there you go. That was a, that was a good one there. So on but, the bottom, you know, how'd you get your nickname, Warrior of God? What brought that to you? Know? My name is Gabriel. And uh, Gabriel is a biblical name. He's an archangel, and it means uh, warrior of God, man of God, and messenger of God. Um, awesome. So, yeah, that's why I took it. Yeah. It's actually nice. on my chest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume you're a baseball fan just by the one that's extremely highlighted right there. On the <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I mean, I like baseball. I played baseball ever since I was, like, four to high school. Yeah, actually, I had a scholarship to play baseball, but instead, uh, I went and played football, and I played college rugby too. So it was pretty fun. There you go. So you've been steadily progressing more, and you know, it went from slide tackles on the catcher and yeah. second baseman to you know rugby, where you're hitting to finally you just got the almost you know, football. And then you're just like, you know, what? I'm just gonna straight punch him in the face. Forget yeah. about this. I'm just gonna go you straight. Realize that baseball is not fun. And it's not a contact sport. To, get yeah. flat, just to do it where it's oh. recommended. Yeah. I don't know. You get, to to be able to watch baseball, you have to appreciate it. I can't. It sucks to watch, man. It but, sucks. But to play, <laughs> to play, it's 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 pretty fun to play. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah, it's not it's not the finest. It's uh, there's better you know, sports. You, you have to be those stat freaks that like to do like the like the baseball mom who would have to keep track of all the stats. You have to do that as a fan to make it interesting because then you're constantly doing something other than just shoving peanuts and popcorn in your mouth the whole time. You know? Yeah, yeah, you're just in there waiting yeah. for some action. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that was that was just one of those things. Like, you're just as you see the stuff, I'm like, oh, you know, obviously a baseball fan. I mean, because there's that's not really much, but you know, distinction on that one. I mean, that's pretty. You know, the color and everything. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's Tampa Bay, the Rays. Plus, I mean, I'm from Tampa, you mm -hmm. know, so. I, I had to I put that on there, I guess. You know what I mean? Rep my city. It's now, you, you're from Tampa. Why are you fighting out of California? What's the what's the difference? I think. Oh, I'm not fighting out of California. Okay, um, it's mis misprint. Um, yeah. Um, I just fought in California. I live oh. I live in West Virginia right now. Um, my mom's mom's side of the family is from up here, so I moved here uh, during high school. I finished high school up here. Uh, I I went to Kentucky, not Kentucky, but it's called uh, well, it was Pikeville College then, but now it's University of Pikeville. And I played football there, then I played rugby for Marshall University in Huntington. And then I joined the Army, and then just been everywhere since. But I'm oh, working nice. my way back to Tampa, for sure. That's awesome. What do you think you'll awesome. be down? Um, either by the end of the year or early next year, mid next year, but yeah, I'll be down there for sure. It, okay. It's gonna be for sure, yeah. Well, if we get a chance, like I said, maybe we'll you know get you because we're down in the Winter Garden, you know, About an hour away. Where, so, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah nice. so we're not. Yeah, we're not too far away from that. So it's. Yeah, we all reside in Florida. Yeah, we. Yeah, I love yeah. Florida. Man. Oh, man. I was actually I was actually born in Tampa at the Brick Hospital, Tampa General. So I'm from Orlando. I grew up in Orlando, but I'm I was born in Tampa, so I know I was, all the about I was born at St. Joseph's. Uh, yeah, women's hospital, I think, back then. But, but yeah. Is there more opportunity to fight in um, down here in Florida than West Virginia? Or you just want to come back into Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, and there's way more gyms. There's way more everything down there. And yeah. plus, I mean, I got a lot of gyms that want me to go down there, like uh, American Top Team Tampa. Um, there's one called Death War. I think Death War um, that Alon Cruz fights out of. There you go. Uh, um, now, besides Conor McGregor, who do you want to call out for a fight? Who do you want to call out? We'll get them on and we'll make it happen. I gotta get, I gotta get more, uh, more notoriety first. But, um, <laughs> hey, you uh, still have that one person that you're just like, dude, man, I, you know, I want to fight that guy. I'm just tired of this. There's you know, one person that's running from you. That's running from me. Yeah, there's gotta yeah. be at least one person that doesn't want to fight you. Yeah, you know, it just says no. Nope. I mean, we could try to get him and see what we could do. Um, I know we got you on the spot. I know. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to run it back with um my pro debut, and I'd also which is Nick Nick Malpin, and I'd also like to uh, run it back with um Benjamin Zapata. 
I'd like to I like to fight them too again. Even though they're at fifty five, I really don't care. Like I said, my my weight's forty five. I mean, when I was fighting fifty five, I was weighing like one fifty seven, one fifty six. I didn't have to cut. Okay, that's right. Yeah, so, good. yeah. But right. yeah, man, probably them too. Uh, but first, first things first is this this guy. You know what I'm saying? My neck, my opponent here, uh, and I'm going. Oh, yeah, oh man, definitely. I can't I can't wait. And he's 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 five three. Damn. Yeah, he's yeah, he's. Could. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's moving up. What does yeah. his name rhyme with? I'm just kidding. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, we don't get your trouble. We'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. We'll find out yeah. no. It's like the French it? name, I think. It's yeah. like French. Yeah. <laughs> it's damn French. We'll, put, we'll post this up when that comes out. Like I said, I don't want to get you yeah. in trouble. That's oh, like, it's all good. The program that gets dropped on the card. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. Soon we man, find out, we'll bring you guys both back in. Yeah, man, I can't wait, man. I cannot wait. <laughs> that's that's cool. So is. Do you do you envision t- um, like your career? I mean, I mean, obviously everybody wants to make the big show, you know, UFC. Everybody wants to do that stuff. What is your goal that you, your manager, your team, are really setting your eyes on? I mean, are you wanting to take the level you're at, like now, Combat Quest, and just dominate, and then see what your opportunities are after that, or is this? Are you looking to the future now? So what I'm saying, or is there this one just I want to take what the level I'm at now, dominate it, and then we'll see what comes. I believe I'm I'm better than the level I'm at right now. Um, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna dominate this guy, like, and then I'm gonna basically as when I get to, as as quickly as I can move up, that's where I want to go. You know what I'm saying? I don't. And then bare knuckle, I'm gonna do bare knuckle too. There you go. I I hit nice. too hard, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm a yeah. And so, yeah, I want to be at the top of, and I'm going to be at the top of Bare Knuckle and MMA. I'm going to be that guy that can do both. Well, that's speaking. Bare Knuckle is taking off. I mean, that one is a legit, you know, as I've been watching, this one's a legit player in the game now to where I'm seeing a lot of attention going towards this Bare Knuckle boxing. And it's, you know, so, I mean, are you you looking really actively of trying to land something in that as well as doing this at the same time? I need more experience. Um, They can't just take somebody. uh, You got to have at least three pro MMA fights. And um, so I'll be there soon. I mean, but uh, yeah, that's what you need. So possibly this time next year, you might be looking at, you know, at least, you know, that might be close enough for you to possibly look at bare knuckle in. No, oh, no. Uh, I'm fighting. I want to fight like three to four more times before this year closes. So maybe right, in the yeah. year. I nice. fight like t- I told people. I want to fight like Tyson in the late '80s. I've been sitting down for too long. I need to fighting, man. And I'm not scared to fight. And I'll fight anytime. Yeah. There we go. Hey. Nice. <laughs> now, are you able to um, re- you know tell everybody where this venue is at right now, or is that still another one that's you know part of the have to wait for the release? Yeah, I gotta wait. It's it's in definitely in Tampa. I mean, that's where it's gonna be. But yeah, I gotta wait. Got a road yep. trip coming up, boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, gonna, it's gonna be a good one. Yeah, sure. we'll be there. Now, for those that can't road trip, do you know is this gonna be on fight? Yeah. Or something? Oh, it's it's gonna be. I know it's pay per view for sure. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, once the post gets released, is when the, the uh, pay per view company and everything gets released too. So okay. I'll, I'll know then, but it's definitely for sure pay per view. Um, yeah. Okay. So then, what we'll do is just as you get that for us, we'll promote that out there, and kind of get the word out for you as well. So try Thanks, to try. man. Oh yeah. yeah, no, that's definitely. I mean, we, you know, we're really good friends to um, Jeremy Davis. You know, who, who hails out of there, out of Tampa. Okay. You know, so, yeah. So he's out in that area too. So I mean, it's just the more we can get that community, you know, that there's an event going. I'm sure you're going to get those. People around yeah. there are going to want to go see it just because, you know, on TV, since we can't get there in person yet. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, it's going to be a good show, man. Plus, it's going to have um, more than just MMA. It's going to have boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, and it's going to be in a square boxing ring, kind of like Pride style. So, right. yeah. It's gonna yeah be I don't cool, understand. Man. 20 of us can stand on the toilet paper aisle at Walmart, but we can't go sit there and watch a fight. I don't understand. Yeah. It don't make any sense. It makes- yeah, I, w- I was driving back home from work, and I stopped at this gas station named Sheets, and um, mm-hmm. only four people was allowed in there at a time. This big old <laughs> gas station, four people, man. It was crazy. It pissed me off. People, there's a line outside in the rain. So, the people go back and forth. You know, there's you know until we ask a fighter, 
do you fight harder with no fans or do you fight, you know, just the same? No, man, my mindset's the same. Go in there and kill him. Go home. Yeah. There you okay, go. go home. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's great. Just to answer the question, there's like what fight coming up is telling a combat quest. So mm -hmm. that's yeah. no, so well, awesome, man. This is this is this is cool. I am excited for you guys. I mean, everyone that we've talked to, I mean, I know you everybody in this community has just been dying, you know, to get back to the thing. So I, I know you are just you know, you can't wait. You can't, Dude, you know, you, I can't up. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I can't wait to get in there. <laughs> it's like yeah, man, I, I got, a, I got a, such a, I got a new motivation too, man. It's like I'm so, I haven't been this dedicated, and determined, and probably ever. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going there ready to, yeah, you know, kill or be killed, like Nate says. There you go. Now, as so, uh, you know, this little guy going to be, you know, coming to any of these bouts with Dad, you know, sit there and root for you there, you know, in the corner. He will. I want him to get a little older. I don't want him to see me in that place yet, because it's going to get nasty, man. And uh, he's going to have to see his dad turn into something. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him to see that yet. When, when he can understand a little more, he's a little too young now, before in July. Yeah, get out there. You know, everybody's going to love him when he comes in the ring. You know, he's your cut, cut man. You know, he's helped take care of dad. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, everybody will love that part. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely bring him into the ring probably one time or two. Once his corner oh, shit's over with. But, yeah. That's, that's yeah. awesome. Exactly. No, it's – that's been good. But great. Like I said, I, so your team, what's your team name? I want to get that out there. Um, so kind of give a shout out to your team. You, I was you know, Rocks. Uh, it's just Team Rock Solid. I mean, Rock Solid. Uh, it's, it's led by um, Rock Solid Boxing, too. It's Rock Solid. It's it's led by, uh, like I said, Joe Mack, um, Big Joe Mack or Psycho Joe. Um, a website, I, I, it probably, it probably, I probably should be more prepared on that. Um, I never really look for the website. I just oh, it's okay. Well, like I said I don't mean to put you on the spot. I'm just, oh, I was just like, you know, like you have your own gear. You know, you know, so that way people can go out there and support you as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure uh, I'll get you with more information on that too. Okay. Here, so. Yeah, well, we'll we'll add it to it. And just I said, you know, coming up here in a couple minutes, we're gonna have you know a couple people joining us. And like I said it's gonna be a little fiery discussion so yeah i said you're welcome to stick around for that if you want to that's gonna that's gonna be uh, yeah i want to get a laugh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, one's this one's gonna be good i i said it was it's <laughs> two people um for people like coming up just to kind of give you a little heads up i have no idea you know how this would happen but we bring this guy david potter on we're just talking to him and then he mentions he mentions you know a friend of his you know sheena star and they're just going on, and they're like, we, you know, we know we can't stand, you know, southern fighter mob wife Gambino. And I'm like, mob wife. And I'm like, so they're just like, yeah, you can't stand mob wife. And I'm like, is her last name Gambino? And he's like, yes. I'm like, dude, where you have her husband coming on next Wednesday? <laughs> I'm like, what are the odds of this? I'm like, this is crazy. You know, so so we talked to him, and he's just like, like, come on, nine o'clock. We'll let you guys sit here talk and stuff. I've got trap coming on next wednesday and then if anything we can bring them on there and we can let you guys hash it out again and try to get this thing going so what is it even about do you know um it's from what i can tell like so they'll talk about a little bit more um they'll be coming up here about nine oh, o'clock okay. okay is yeah, they <laughs> yeah, as far as i've seen from the stuff around it is that you know they that mob wife uh, according to Sheena, you know, keeps ducking the fights, keeps finding a reason not to fight. And so oh, yeah. I heard one of her things. She was talking about the commission in one state. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, if you could fight for any commission, you could fight for this commission. That was on like another group or something. She was saying some of the commission wouldn't let her fight or something. What, I don't was, know. She, was she, uh, is she not, she hasn't fought yet. Is that what it is? She's, uh, she's fought two fights that I know of. Um, so professional uh, or. Um, I think it's amateur. Um, and like I said, I know David Potter's with us right now. Um, we're going to bring him in. And then as uh, soon as Sheena gets here, we're going to bring uh, bring her in as well. Um, so, so give him a second here. We'll have him join in. And, oh, there he is. David. Gabriel Fryer. Gabriel, David, David, Gabriel. What's up, brother? 
We're gonna do. We're gonna do a. We're gonna do a Corona toast. Go ahead and toast. I see. Cheers, you. brother. Cheers. 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 Cheers, gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. So, <laughs> I, we were kind of giving him a little, a uh, little behind the scenes, like what happened, how this came about, like when, because I was with you on Messenger, you know, I was told him the whole story. Where I'm like, get the hell out of here. I'm like, seriously, this is. I go, what are the odds? that we would have random meetings where Matt finds you. I'm t we're talking through Debbie and she, you know, and I said, and we just, we, we end up with the two parties totally unrelated outside of them together. I'm like, this is crazy. I think, yeah. I, I think, and by the way, uh, Gabriel, I, I was listening to the interview and shout out to you, man. I and mean, I heard that you fought in Kentucky. I actually fought in Brandenburg, Kentucky. So it's a small world after all. So yeah, I love man. You, man. So yeah, man, I'll be happy for you. No thank problem. You, thank you. Thank you. And I kind of got thrown into this too, because uh, you know, I, I, I MMA journalism 101 is you research what's going on, everything like that. And I love Sheena. Sheena fought for Ryzen. She fights in bare knuckle fighting. Hillary Clinton's a cunt shirt. Like she's hilarious, and she's she's an awesome girl. So naturally, like you know, uh, she posts one of her podcasts, and she was on with Jason Mayhem Miller. And you know, I'm listening in, and of course, as a good friend, and I'm loyal to a fault. Obviously, I'm going to listen and support my buddy. So that goes without saying. And you know, you're listening, and you know, Ashley Gambino is very combative. She's very, um, you know, she's intense. She's an intense girl. And you do further research on her, and you you try to figure out. I don't even know how the beef starts. So maybe you, Sheena, can can answer that. But you know, and she also fought for uh, Tough Enough. You fought amateur. Uh, shout out to Mr. Mayor who runs Tough Enough over in Las Vegas. Great guy. Um, so I don't necessarily know how the beef started, but like you do further research and you you find questionable things like one of the YouTube videos, which I didn't like personally, and I actually talked to Trap about this, was one of the videos like, and it came from a, a account on YouTube like Trap, you know, Trap whatever, and it's Ashley Gambino flips fat chick. And I'm thinking, and I'm like, I have never, you know, one of my rolling partners or anything like that, I've never body shamed or anything like that. I mean, that's kind of inappropriate, especially posting a, uh, a video about a live role. I mean, I, who's posting videos about training? I mean, why are you trying to humiliate one of your training partners? And, and you know, it, the difference between good people and bad people are subjective. It depends on the person, depends on whatever. And I could be completely wrong, and there are great people and everything like that. But you do more digging, you do more research, and it's like, oh, what if she is right that this person is just a bad person? And then I listened to another interview with Jason Mayhem Miller, and you know, it's uh, uh, Jenny Savage is on there, who's three and three, great fighter, great representation of uh, female MMA, and you know, it, you know, it, she's also being combative with Jenny. So it's like an ongoing thing, and. You know, it's very hard to, to stay neutral, especially from an MMA media standpoint and journalism standpoint, when your buddy's fighting with somebody who's also fighting with all these different people. And I don't even know how the story, story I don't know how they started fighting, but I figured it would be an interesting enough story. And, you know, Sheena had this long career. She also is a cup person. She worked with the UFC. I figured she would be a great guest with you guys. And maybe she can elaborate a little bit further because it's been a big story. Yeah, she's in right now, so we're going to bring her on. Yeah, Chris reestablished. So we get him. Sheena, hey. Hey. How are you? I'm just living the dream up here in quarantine world. We got a awesome governor here in Michigan. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just fucking waiting to what's gonna happen in June. It's like, oh, April's not gonna be so bad. Now we got fucking murder hordes and shit. It's all fucked up. <laughs> you know? How's, how's that old dog faring after eating another pair of shoes? Yeah, fuck that dog. I'm coming to this dog. This <laughs> fucking, he's horrible. He's horrible, man. Picture of dog chewing up a pair of shoes before she got a chance to wear them. So I, I know that's fucking a little prick, dude. Like chewing up my shit, and it's only my shit too. It's fuck. It's. But she, I don't like it. Gabriel Fryer, um, Gina, like I said, let me introduce you guys. I said, What's up? Yep. Got a I don't have her. Oh no. Okay. I, I want to know what's going on. <laughs> so yeah, so like just what you said. So let's start. How did, for anybody that doesn't know, I mean, I know there's a few people. How did this um, this disagreement, this beef, how did this originate between the two of you? Uh, I forgot about it for like a decade. Um, oh, it's weird. Someone's got back feet on their phone. Who doesn't have headphones in? I think it's, it might be David. 
All right, mute him for a second <laughs> so I can tell you. <laughs> mute David here. Got it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, holy shit. Look at it. We can fucking hear now. All right. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> anyways. Um, there we go. It was like a decade. I didn't hear from these people for like a long time. And then she put like an Instagram post up. I see she is fighting bare knuckle. And I want to knock her out. I'm like, holy fuck. I forgot about this train wreck from Ohio that uh, it was, uh, shoot, I don't know, long ago. They used to live in Ohio. They used to uh, anchor in or some little fucking podunk town in the middle of Amishville. I don't fucking know. But uh, they, were, they were just like trying to... Uh, recruit female fighters or people that are like female they're like in the fight world and get them to go fucking live at their house and then trap would pimp them out and have them do fetish wrestling and shit for money it's like ashley does she doesn't now she got pictures of fucking videos and shit on youtube people bitching about her and well anyways because she'll deny it because she's lying cunt but um <laughs> her husband her husband was talking to a fucking coach's daughter and she just happened to be a teenager. And she was like 17 and whatever, you know what I mean? But, you know, basically saying, hey, come and move with us. Parents suck. Parents rule shit. Fucking go down. Fucking do that shit. Caught him. Dude, I thought freaking Coach Charlie was going to go down there and shoot him in the head. Oh, yeah, like, son of a dick pitcher. And oh, it was bad. It was bad. So that's why I talked shit to him. And then we all hated him and pushed him all out. Like, you know what? You need to fucking go. You're weird and creepy and you're pimping on our people. We don't appreciate that. You know what I mean? So, uh, they used to have, so, like, yeah, yeah it, was, it was just fucking nuts. Crazy. You know, and I went off on him. I fucking exposed him. He got all pissed off and shit. You know what I mean? And then they blocked me. I've been blocked for like 10 years. And boop, boop, here comes Ashley out of the woodwork. Fucking <laughs> talking, talking shit on Instagram to me and Jenny Savage. Jenny Savage will fucking kill you. Well, that's, see, that's, that's the thing is, that's why I, I saw on that video uh, David sent me, you know, where you two were on there. And, I mean, it seemed like there was, a, you know, genuine disagreement. I mean, it was one of those, you know. Did you watch that, guys? Well, I was kind of being quiet there for a minute because, mm -hmm. like, Ashley, she's got, like, a fans-only page and, like, you know, posts, like, pictures of her, like, boobies hanging out and, like, censors them and shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, well, I was fucking talking shit right back, and they obtained a fucking topless picture of me. I'm, I'm fucking modest as hell. Like, I don't dress trashy. I, I don't put that shit out there, you know, because I ain't trying to get that attention. But uh, they, got, they got it. They got it from Annette, which is bullshit. Paid him for it, and then they posted it all over Twitter and made memes out of it and shit, like... It pissed me off. Fuck her. You know, if you want to show your titties all over social media, that's cool. I didn't ask for that. I think it's fucking wrong. And, you know, I should call the fucking federal police on um, shit. Beat her ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah exa exactly. So what is it going to take to get you two mm. into a mat? I mean, what neutral ground? I mean, oh, well, well we, we went on it. Well, first off, she wouldn't tell anybody how much she weighed. We're like, Dude, how much do you fucking weigh right now? What are you walking at? Let's get something realistic because you're a little bit bigger than me right now because, you, you know, she had a baby or whatever and gained some baby weight and that's whatever, you know. I said, I've made weight every single time. I was like, yeah, you made weight at 115 and 157. That's a big fucking damn difference. I <laughs> think. You know? yeah. oh, that's <laughs> what what happened? Happened? That's what? like fucking five weight classes, dude. Like, what the fuck, you know? It was, just, it was just fucking stupid. When I answer the matchmaker, when I answer Nate Shook, what are you walking at? It's nobody's business. I always make weight blah. I'm like, what the fuck is that? How you get a fight, dumbass? Nice. Um, well, that's, you know, a, I mean, that's, it is. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, and then, and then her husband sent death threats to this lady that commented on a Facebook post, and all she said was interesting because it was one of our podcasts that we did. And Trat hit him up in the inbox and started fucking talking shit. And he's like, hello, do you not know I'm the athletic commissioner's wife from the only state in the country that's going to sanction your non-credential ass? You know what I mean? Uh, wow. Because she's the only one. She's the only one. She's the only one. She got knocked the fuck out. You know what I mean? So. Can't hey, she guys. fight at all? What? She can in Mississippi if her husband. I'm working on it. Wait, do you, do you guys hear me okay, by the yeah. way? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. sorry about yeah. that. So, 
Uh, has Trap fought at all? Or, like, that, that, that's why we're trouble research. No, no, the only thing that fucker's fighting is diabetes and jaundice. Have you seen him? <laughs> the fuck, dude? No, you know. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I know, I mean, I know you're frowning upon body shaming, but he's a fucking piece of shit. So I can, uh, you know, I don't feel bad at all. You know, fight me. You know what I mean? Well, obviously, they're going to get a chance to retort because they're going to be here Wednesday. You know, at least trapped. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't feel. I don't feel like this is a one-sided affair because you know no, we're going to get the other Whatever. I didn't do shit to them. They're like, oh, she just made it up, and oh, we don't, da, da, da. dude. They fucking. Like they're you know, you know why Jenny Savage don't like them? Uh -uh. Because they called her a monkey lover. Her husband did fucking trap. He's a fucking racist piece of shit. He don't like black people. He don't like black people, and he will just well, be asshole to like him. him. Yeah, yeah. He's called my friends monkeys. They're like, oh, it's a fake profile. I'm like, bitch, no, it ain't. And uh, the same, the same one yeah. you've had. It's fucking uh, stupid. It's just stupid bullshit. It's just like a bunch of fucking stupid bullshit. But it keeps me entertained right now, you know? Wow. Okay. So, yeah. So, that's, I mean, I was just. Dude, was they watching. made videos. They're obsessed with me. They're obsessed with me. Like, they want to get in there. You know what I mean? Like, they made a video. They made a fucking video game avatar out of me. Like, <laughs> made it look just like me for UFC just so she could beat my ass. I'm <laughs> a fucking video game. <laughs> Who fucking does that? Who does that? She sounds that obsessed. Fuck? Is that not creepy or what? <laughs> somebody that's obsessed or somebody that's really into over preparing. I don't know, yeah. man. I think I think that bitch wants to lock me in her fucking basement, dude. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> right, I mean, I just, oh, if I, I if, I if I disappear, if I disappear, if I if I disappear, go look in the basement. <laughs> go look in the basement. But uh, so, no, no. Okay. So I mean, hopefully, hopefully, if I have, I mean, especially right now, let's keep it real. Right now, it's gonna be a minute before we're back to big combat sport events with high attendance. You know what I mean? They're gonna make us wait. They're gonna. I mean, this fucking year sucks. You know, you know, for that right now. So we might have to do some fanless or limited fan arena type deals. And what you really want to do is you want to sell pay per view at that point. Obviously, you don't have the crowd in there. Me and Asha would sell like a million pay-per-views. And we'd all make some really good money and it would be fucking fun and it'd be great. Cause I told her, no. I'll just, I, I'm fucking, I'll have this finger out the whole time and then I'll just fucking get her with that Southpaw left. So I won't so even she, clinch with it. So she knows, because not only did I talk about like this all going on, but I also talked about your credentials. Like you fought for Ryzen. Like I loved hearing you talk about MMA. I can hear you talk about MMA. I can shut up and listen, just hear fucking like great things about the sport and great stories and just be educated when I talk to you. And when, with, with that being said, you know, when I looked up Ashley, she has two fights. She fought for Tough Enough with Mr. Mayor and she fought another time I couldn't they're find. Not, they're not even allowed there anymore. They are banned from Tough Enough for life. How, how oh, come? Yeah. Trap fucking threatened to shoot Jeff for some crazy shit. Are you like, fucking, like, no, I swear no to God. Way. Yeah, I swear to fucking God. I, dude, I can't make this shit up. I'm live fucking to the world right now. Jeff is, okay? the nicest guy. Jeff is the nicest guy on the fucking planet. I know, what is, man. What? I know. I know. He oh. can fucking be a kindergarten teacher or some shit, right? Yeah, fucking oh nice God. ass man. You know? He could be a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, so, so my, I got so my question. I'm writing this stuff down so that way I know. You yeah, know, yeah. yeah. For each one of these, because I'm just like, oh my god! <laughs> you, you you the oh, so, so, Shuna, oh. Yeah. so, so my my question is because you have all this experience and everything like that. Do you know if mm. Bare Knuckle Fighting would actually how how would you get the sanction? How would you get uh, both you guys to you know get sanctioned? Considering she does have an experience, which is not a bad thing. Yeah. It's not a knock on her. Every, you know, everyone starts. It, it, it depends because right now they want you to have three or more professional fights. Yeah. And have a and have a winning record or have a good resume. Yeah, it's all about you know, resume. If that, if that, if that, yeah, well, that's how people like Charles Felony Bellant keeps getting fights and he's lost like twenty in a row. And I keep bringing him on and paying him though. This fucking crazy crackhead ass. Oh my God. Anyways, but uh, and, and y'all know who he is. I don't. I don't. I don't think the guy with the red beard does. It's like <laughs> fuck is that. Yeah. Oh, no, um, you don't. <laughs> I don't want to plug, you know, another fight organization, you know, type that thing that that street beefs. Have you ever watched that on YouTube? Oh my god! Yeah. It's like, it sounds, well, it sounds like it sounds like honestly sounds like they have you to get no, on that one because then that. it's not sanctioned. No. And at least we could get something going to where there's at least 
There's at we least can fight something. in Mississippi. We can fight in Mississippi. Yeah. We, can, we can fight in Mississippi. We can go to Biloxi. I mean, if you have to talk about a riverboat in the water where it's not, you know, it's not even, you know, you don't have to worry about government, you know, oversight, you know, the gam like the gambling thing. Just get on the back end. They want to, the they got, they got to be, Saints, they got to be yeah. sanctioned. BKFC has got to be, it's, it's got to be, it's got to be sanctioned. sanctioned. What weight are you willing to fight her at? Um, I mean, I'd like for 125, you know, but if it's too hard or whatever, like, I don't, I mean, I can go up a little bit, you know, I'm walking a little heavier right now, probably, you know, right around 130. I usually fight at 115. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it don't matter anyways. I'll be faster, you know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and that's why counts in bare knuckle. Ain't no stalling mm -hmm. in that bitch, especially that no. Especially that stupid fucking triangle at BYB. Like, I love it. Like, Dada 5000, all those guys. Fucking cool, awesome promotion. You know, they took really yeah. good care of me, but I hate the fucking ring, dude. It was like a phone booth. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck am I thinking? You know, holy yeah. shit. My buddy Chris Chell is going to fight for you. So. Yeah. Yeah, I got my fucking nose broke there. It sucked so bad. My my nose bled for like four days. I'm like, motherfucker, still? <laughs> Uh, they oh. they do that that triangle so it like enforces the action. That's their excuse. That doesn't force the action. It forces someone to get pushed into a fucking corner and the ref stopping it. <laughs> <laughs> so now, do you prefer you know? Because I watched some of your things. It seems yeah. like you you actually really enjoy bare knuckle. I do. I love that shit. You know what? Because I think it's like the last fucking dying breed of the sport where you can't hide in that bitch can't really pad a record in it it's like a really pure just form of fighting um i think they need to allow spinning shit i think that'll be fun um you know it's uh it's just cool and then the people you know a lot, a lot of them are journeymen too so like i got people like Artem mabove and then i got you know the conor mcgregor crew coming and getting to see these All guys right. and then isaac valley flag you know coming in and hector lombard and Wanderlei Silva and I mean I mean hanging out with you know Anthony Johnson you know every day for you know the whole time we're there because he's just like hey <laughs> you know it's just uh it's it's cool I've made a family out of him man I love him I love him my people and you also no, went viral you also went viral too I had all my friends over we we're all watching your fight I'm sure you won of course trying to be a homie and then I see your Hillary Clinton is a cunt shirt. You win. Yeah. And then I, go, <laughs> I check my phone and there's the first article. And I'm like, bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm like, holy shit. She just started. Just went viral. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do it. I didn't even mean to do it at all. It was, I mean, this, it was this thing, when I saw that picture again, I had seen this before. Before we were doing this podcast, before we were doing mm -hmm. even getting stuff, I saw it and I'm like, going, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my <laughs> God. That's who we got. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I remember seeing that photo. I'm like, you know, this is crazy. I'm like, what did the? I'm just, you know, then you start getting those little tingles in the back of your neck, like, oh my god, we made it. This is crazy. I don't know what was more crazy when I see my opponent had a big satanic goat tattoo on her stomach and she outweighed me by like oh, 15 pounds. Also, she also. <laughs> She sold that shirt to raise money for veterans. So Sheena is also a big fucking heart. Well, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Well, that's yeah. why I wore it, too. Did I tell you that's why I wore it? I was I had this fucking fight scheduled at Bare Knuckle, and it was last minute, kind of, you know, and I didn't have time to get sponsors or any of that shit. And a charity group I'm on, they're called, uh, and work with uh, 20, 22 to none. They're a veteran suicide charity. And I'm like, you know what? This guy always bitched about Hillary Clinton because he fucking worked her detail and said she was a fucking cunt. Uh, you know, <laughs> and this about her. Oh, he fucking hated her. He fucking hated her guts. Still hates her guts. And I'm like, you know what? This weekend's going to be for y'all. This will be for all you berserkers and homies. And I just yeah, wore I it. And, I don't care for you either. Yeah, sure. I was I was really fucking popular in Mississippi when I walked out with that bitch. Nobody knew who I was. They're like, "What is this?" They're like, "Who, who is? She's from Michigan, though." I'm like, yeah, fuck. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So, well, let's let's see. I mean, I'm definitely you know when we have them on, I'm gonna really push. It's like, all right, we'll see what we we gotta get this this bout and you know down to Mississippi happening. You know, this has sure. got. Just if, if anything, since this has been an internet sensation going on here for a while, because even like it's so funny, it's so funny. 
But I'm like, so how did you get into bare knuckles? Um, you know what? I coached Tony Lopez, and I started traveling with Tony Lopez. All his all the bare knuckles fights and then stitch see me one night and um uh, something with the other cut man happened and stitch see me there and i know jacob stitch very well and he was like here hire sheena she's really good and because cuts were my specialty like that's all you know that's what they bring me in for is the big ones and uh uh i just feldman hit me up he's like you want to work with stitch he recommended you i'm like Fucking really hell yeah i want to work with stitch let's go run it boom so I started doing cut men work. <laughs> so I went to every single one of them. So uh, I'm the only female fighter to be a cut man and fight as wow. professional. <laughs> Stitch and Stitch told me that, and he don't fucking bullshit. You know. So that's, but, yep. That's, that's, yep cool. that's what that's what did. I'm in the uh, bare knuckle hall of fame this year as a Marie Backus uh, person of the year too. Oh, All right. I think, right, 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 for sure. So. That's pretty cool. So I get to go to Belfast, New York, and go to John L. Sullivan's training barns again, and uh, run his trails, and you know, work out. They got Apollo Creed boxing ring there, like the original one, like the real one. I get to box oh, cool. that shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Just play some fucking like seventies disco Rocky music, and just get in there and get a sweat you on. Got, you got to come out in the you know the American uniform with the big old top hat. You got to come out. No, right. then I feel like Shannon fucking Rich. Uh, <laughs> Don't talk bad about him. <laughs> hey, he's on my team. That's my team. Bro. Is he? Yeah. He loves me. He cornered me in a fucking what state did I go to? Oklahoma. We went to the Oki man. And Shannon drove down. Right? Mm-hmm. He's my yeah. he's my friend too. I just talk shit because that's what we do. Yeah, no, yeah, that's cool. I just gotta have his back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> right. I let him know. So you got any fights coming up that, you know, that, that are on hold currently just because of this, or is there something, you know, that you're waiting to put on paper besides the, the mob wife bout? Well, I've been talked to by both promotions of uh, BYB and uh, BKFC. Um, pretty much. We're just kind of waiting right now. I mean, I was hoping for Biloxi, Mississippi and uh, getting that Gambino fight would be cool. If not, I'll fight somebody else. I don't care, but that's, I love that Mississippi town. I love it. it's it's so cool. I love going to Mississippi. I love going to the South. The people is just nicer and shit. They're all a bunch yeah. of rude fucking assholes up here. But it sounds like you yeah. got a fan base down there. I like the well the fucking Hillary shirt, dude. I you know how many people I had to take pictures with, like putting their babies next to my shirt and shit, taking <laughs> Making a fucking family picture. I could have opened up a photo booth and been busy all night. It was, it was like, oh man. Go down to Mississippi, there's gonna be some grandma. Here, yeah. look at this picture I got right here. You're like, oh my god. Oh, oh, I took I took one with the whole Biloxi Fire Department and police force behind me. They all went to the fucking place down there, and I'm like, hey, I'll take a picture with all these fucking cops with this dumb shirt. Great. And I got so I got so much hate from like little. Liberal pussies and shit, all fucking crying. And you're just a great women with that word. I'm like, put on, your pussy. put on your fucking pussy hat and get over it, you know? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid bitches. That's great. Oh, oh my God. Well, you guys, I want to thank you for coming on. I yes, really sure. appreciate hey. it. Oh my God. I'm just, it just, as this came down, and so what we're going to do, like I said, I mean, uh, obviously, I'm going to give them the opportunity to hear nay it, but I'd be like, you know what I would All love. All you gotta do is lie to you. Yeah. Hopefully, well, you, hopefully you get her not reading from a fucking teleprompter, sounding like a generic Alexa, like da, 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 like a robot. If you guys seen that on a guy thing podcast, it was fucking stupid. It freaked me out. I'm like, bitch, blink twice. Are you all right? We'll try to get them. Like I said, and if they're interested, you know, like I said, we may drop it. You know, re, you know, at the spur of the moment, and say, hey, you guys want to come on? You know, like I said, if they want, if they want to have, yeah, a great, well, whatever. They're full shit, anyways. I probably won't even watch it. So. All right, so but I hope you do. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, so, I won't. I won't shut the fuck up because I'm a loudmouth bitch. Obviously. Well, hey, hey wait, you can blow up our comment section. You can blow it up. I don't care. Nah, I ain't saying shit. Fuck them. They don't deserve my time. All right, all right. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, unless unless it's scribbling on a piece of paper to go fucking knock you out again. She promised she'd retire after that. I'm like, bitch. You got two fights. You've been knocked out both times. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know, I mean, <laughs> obviously you're not that good at it. Yeah. 
Oh, oh Jeff Mayer from Tough Enough said the fe- fucking amateur knockout was the worst he's ever seen in his entire life. He won't even put it on YouTube because it's so bad. Yo, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I thought you put it on. I thought they were actually part of like the Gambino family from New York City. So I asked my friend. Yeah, his dad, his last you are. My friend's <laughs> dad, who isn't part of the mob, but like I asked him, and like he's like, "Why are you asking me this question?" But no, no, no. Can you get that knockout for us so we can broadcast it? I mean, we, we might be a little, <laughs> little anti-fan. Yeah. It's really, it's really bad. I like, I, I like really bad knockouts. Can yeah. you get it? For I don't. Us? Um, there's a, a a clip of it, you know, but it doesn't show the whole fight because the camera kept recording. Sure, sure so. you got a level, you know. It's like I'm not willing to stoop to, you know, to things like. No, well, I never, I never like to make fun of anybody get knocked out. Like when it's scary like that, it's one thing if they get fucking knocked out and then you know they get up and they're all good and everything. But when they're out for like fucking four minutes, you think they're dead and like it's a there's 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 a, there's a time where you're like, oh cool, knockout, 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 knockout. Oh shit, you know. She she was all the way over here in the fucking red, man. So there's yeah. a real uh, night nights. That was a real night night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Shana, David, thank you so much for Thanks joining us. Well. I appreciate you doing that on a little short notice. I said look forward to getting to meet you. And she, well, as soon as we get something like that, we'll definitely you know need to have you on to you know talk about upcoming bouts for yourself. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to come on, shoot shit with you guys, talk oh. with you know. Well, hey, whatever, we really and... appreciate it. You know, like like our like our site, you know, it's like Dude, share that. I stuff. did. Yeah. I didn't yeah. like your shit. Yeah. I've been tagging you all day. Yeah, that's great. Oh, it's awesome. I know. That's how I found out about the shoe getting chewed up. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that dog. Like I said, somebody can even come get this bulldog. <laughs> awesome. miss You'd miss him. So, <sighs> all right. Well, thank you guys. Uh, Gabriel, thank you so oh, yeah. much. Thank you for your service, sir. Oh, yeah. No problem, man. We look forward to May 29th. You know, I said so. Hit us up. With the information here in the next couple of days, when it's oh no, nah, June twentieth. Oh, June. Tw- oh, that changed. Okay, I thought it was the end of the yeah. month. And it was May twenty third, then they got pushed back. Now it's June twentieth okay. because because of pay per view pay per view miscommunications. But yeah, June twentieth okay. for sure. Yeah. All right, June. 20th. Yeah, that sucked. Cool. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, all right, awesome. fucking grind, man. Grind, man. Grind it up. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Well, no. thank you, everybody, and we will. Well, like I said we'll do this at the chat, and I appreciate it. You guys have a great evening. Oh, yeah, you Good too. night. Good night, guys. Good night. This episode has been brought to you by the official sponsor of the Fight Mixer Show on the podcast, Brats Beard Care, Premium Beard Oil, Beard Soap. All made, uh, all natural. Yeah. Amazing all stuff, code. man. Free beards, capital B on there. You're going to get 20% off, and free shipping is always on our, your entire order. Check him out, BratsBeardCare.com. Please support him because he supports us. Uh, Nanny Cakes, Nancy Burke, yep. four seven nine two three two eight nine eight at eight. Facebook. At Nanny Cakes four zero seven. Yep. Miss Nuff, and she's gonna get give you fifteen percent off in the Central Florida area. 50. Yep. So you know, fifteen percent. You know, great on the cake, especially around here, Central Florida. Amazing yep. cakes. Highly recommend them outside Maybe. the Central Florida area. I go. You're gonna enjoy what arrives. It will yeah. taste amazing. But so, you know, you talk to her, maybe she'll figure out a way to ship it to you. So yeah. check us out, threebeardspodcast.com, Facebook, Fight Mixer, Fight Mixer Show, and Three Beards Podcast, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. And all right. Follow us. And we're on our podcast and announced to everybody, we finally got accepted by iHeartRadio. Finally, what happened? It just showed up. We're grateful for it. It's finally announced. So yeah, let's get another one added to the podcast family. So yay! So let's. Get, I'm waiting to hear on Spotify. But everybody, check us out on the podcast forums. Let us know. Please thank you everybody for watching. All the comments are great. So heads up, as everybody knows, we do have Trap Gambino and possibly his wife. You know, hopefully his wife coming on as well to counter. You know, on this on Wednesday at eight thirty. But before that, we will have Arlene Blunkow from, I think she fights out of New Zealand. Is where, yeah. And she's a Bellator fighter. So she's going to be coming on at 7.30 uh, prior to that, the first show, along with guest uh, Jessica Borga will be coming on with her as well. Fun. Yeah, so that we'll have that. So that's going to be exciting. So, gentlemen, we will see you on Wednesday for what is going to be an amazing day of talk and Get the popcorn, baby. <laughs>
everybody, good night. Thank you for watching, Matt. Thank you. Hey, guys. Thank you. Appreciate everybody. We will talk to you later. Good night. Good night.